Hey everyone, welcome back to On the Fence Movie Reviews. I am Adrian, joined by my co-host Rob, and today we're going to be talking about The Suicide Squad. So The Suicide Squad stars Idris Elba, um, Margot Robbie, Viola Davis, and John Cena. And this is John the... Cena. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see me. Um, this is sort of a continuation of the first Suicide Squad movie. And uh, there's a new mission. Obviously, we know that they complete their mission. They get uh, what is it like ten years off their sentence, and so. They put together a new team with some familiar faces from the first one, but a whole bunch of new faces in this one. And again, it is a suicide mission, hence Suicide Squad. And it is a crazy outlandish mission, but there's a lot going on in there. But we're going to talk about that right now. So, Rob, what were your thoughts on The Suicide Squad? Well, The Suicide Squad, Adrian, uh, I felt this was... Uh... I always try to say, like, I'm not going to compare, but I'm going to compare uh, Go for the, the other Suicide Squad movie to this Suicide Squad movie. Whereas uh, I was going to say this felt more like a Suicide Squad movie. Um, You know, uh, yeah. uh, just from the the way uh, Amanda Waller, it's Viola Davis, if I'm not mistaken, correct? Is yeah. that right? She plays Amanda Waller. Um. I feel like she always in the first movie she did a great job. I think in this movie she just does an even better job um, of who I think, as far as you know, from what I've read in the comics, from what I've seen, you know, on the graphic novel cartoons, um, who Viola Day, I mean, who um, Amanda Waller is. Yeah. Yeah. I, I liked her character. I really thought she did a great job as far as being this person who was, uh, you know, kind of directing these people what they're gonna do. Um, I, I, I want to say right off the bat, I, I really did like this movie. Um, my stand standout uh, has got to be John Cena and, um, <laughs> and, and, yeah. and King Shark. Um, but like for two different reasons. I mean, they're both com they both bring some com comedy, you know, into this movie. But just the way John Cena is is the, the dry the dry sense of humor where he's yeah. completely dead serious, but it, he's so serious. It makes it funny. And just <laughs> the, the timing of, of King shark and just his little, his little, you know, he he's, he's dumb kind of, but you know, <laughs> also it, he's a dumb, lovable character. Yes, and that's definitely. what I think, I think makes uh King shark. Awesome. I like the, um the kind of the alpha male kind of thing with, with the uh, blood sport and uh and um the peacemaker oh, what peace peacemaker yes yeah. what a great name what a great name anyway a, a peacemaker <laughs> and he's just completely the opposite of that um I, the the alpha male you know kind of competitive nature that these two have going against each other um you know as far as just like trying to outdo each other was amazing you know there's this whole scene where they're just kind of doing stuff together and i, I was just <laughs> like I was yeah. dying the whole time. I, you know, I know, I think I know which scene you're talking about. And I, I was in the theater. I was dying and I, <laughs> I could not contain it. It was yeah. hilarious. So, so overall, I mean, I think, I think James Gunn did a fantastic job with this movie. Um, I, I feel like, and this is where I had some issues with the first suicide, suicide squad movie. I didn't have an issue with Will Smith being, um, uh, uh, dead shot. Uh, dead shot. Yes. Um, I just felt like he wasn't gritty enough. He was very kind of clean. Okay. Uh, uh, that's not what I uh, see in my uh, dead shot. Just from all the you know the the comic books I've read and just the different cartoon uh cartoon versions of him. But uh, Bloodsport, I, I did like uh, Idris Elba's uh kind of character of him. He was just a little more gritty, a little more kind of like uh yeah. like. A, a lived person who has issues so i you know i like that i think idris elba he's i mean he's a phenomenal actor regardless i think he did an amazing job with these characters i think everyone in this movie the character even you know with some characters like i know who polka dot man is i know who rat catcher well rat catcher too i know who rat catcher is i know who all these you know kind of like 
deep, deep cut of DC villains and characters are. But I think they did a great job for people who don't know. I think they did a great job of giving you some backstory to these characters and just kind of showing everyone getting their little shine without it being, without it taking you out of the, what they're currently doing in the movie. So um, overall, I, I really enjoy this movie. Uh, there were a couple things uh, that that I just kind of not an issue, just kind of a couple of things that I uh-huh. watching it. I was just like, I don't know about that. It, one of them is kind of spoiler ish. So I'm not going to really delve too deep into that. But I just feel like um, there's a certain scene where I was just like, I don't know, like if, if something like this ha- and, and you probably might. If I say enough, you might get it towards kind of the end where something happens. It kind of it switch, you know, something happens kind of big. And and I in my mind after I was just like, I don't know if if all these people doing this, um, they would have lived after, you know, them doing this to this certain person. So, um, okay. you know, stuff like that. I don't know if you, if you get what I'm saying, but yeah. there's, there's little there's a couple little things where okay. I'm just like, OK, you know, maybe this, maybe that. Uh, also the end vill, you know, the, the big villain, I, I, I don't know who's seen it or who's not seen it or who's, if you try to avoid it. So I'm not going to say who it is, but I just thought, um, it was a very deep cut. It's very, you're digging into the DC universe, uh, with this villain. And I thought it was pretty cool. I thought it was very different. I think James Gunn did an ex an excellent job of making this movie feel like a suicide squad movie and also making it fun but not so much fun where you're just like it's ridiculous but i think it was a good amount of of violence fun and and you know you get these these awesome characters that Uh for me i've wanted to see to come to the you know the screen i was curious of how they were going to make some of these characters and i i i thoroughly enjoyed the movie yeah Yeah, you covered a lot there, Robin. I, I think. Um, I Sorry about repeat that. Sorry, I just repeat a lot of what you said. <laughs> yeah. no, 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 that's good though, because like I think for me, that was the thing, right? Is is giving these characters something more, and and I think that right. was the issue with the first one. It was trying to rely on Harley Quinn, um, Deadshot, and the Joker, and then we didn't really get anything of the other characters like killer croc or you know captain boomerang or, or any of them and right. and so here james gunn what he did was he took all of these obscure characters and i know uh polka dot man rat catcher myself and um you know he took them and then gave them a backstory and gave them a story of like you know heart and 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 those sorts of things and and i got to tell you it, it was from the very beginning, it it just it sucked me in. Right in the very opening shot, you get that song with uh, Johnny Cash, and what happens in that whole opening sequence. I was sucked in, and I was sold, and I was like, okay, this is entirely different. Because again, like what you said, the issue with the first one was that it didn't really feel like a suicide mission. It was like a really cheap villain and it was kind of boring and it had like the whole beam in the sky and it's gonna you know bring the apocalypse or whatever it was and i just i thought it was really lame and weak here it's it feels like an actual mission they have to infiltrate this island they have to get into this base and they have to you know stop the you know the bad guys from doing whatever they're doing um i don't want to get in too much detail because i'll kind of spoil it but it felt like it was an actual mission, you know, and like, it's just, you know, I, I, I love the, the, the characters that what James Gunn did, you know, it's just a better well-rounded story, but he gave them so much heart and he continues to do these things. Um, What I've noticed is kind of a common theme with, at least with this comic book films, um, like guardians of the galaxy volume one, and then volume two, volume one, it's about the, 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 the mother son relationship volume two is that father son relationship here he's dealing with parents um you know uh blood uh bloodshot or um is is you know him and his daughter um they they talk about that and that sort of relationship and then Ratcatcher too her relationship with her father um and then even polka dot man his relationship with his mother and yes. how james gunn kind of brings these sort of 
parental um, stories and, and then kind of gives them heart to where we as viewers can relate to these characters and it kind of brings us in to their lives and who they are as you know as people and as villains and whatnot and you know it, it's just a really great film um i i i you know i'm i'm you covered so much of it but um i i'm trying not to repeat everything you said uh so it like i said i i really enjoyed it it, it is leaps and bounds better than the first one um you know, he took something like what you said, all these obscure characters and made you care about them. And I think that's yes. what great filmmaking does is it makes you care about um, the characters. And that's what's most important. It doesn't matter who's on screen. It doesn't. Right. It could be the Joker or it could be the Polka Dot Man. It, you know, it, it as long as you're telling a great story of character and the, and the people can get invested in it, I think that's great filmmaking. Um, like what you said, ultra violent lots of comedy but it's not too much to the point where it steals away from the film right uh, idris elbow was um you know the chemistry he had with john cena was really awesome i mean i could watch those two go at it for an entire <laughs> film it was it was really really good um but yeah no i i i can i can't say enough about it you know what i want to say this rob because go ahead go ahead it is so different from the comic book films that we've been getting as okay. of late. Um, and it was refreshing because it, it you know. Are you going to cry? Are you going to cry? <laughs> no, I'm not going to cry. I'm just trying to find my wording because I don't want to offend people. Um, but you know what? You know, screw it. Um, you know, the Marvel films, they're good and I enjoy them for what they are, but they are not challenging in any way. I think they're very okay. cookie cutter and I think they're very, um, you know, they're, they're, they're kind of sticking to a script and, um, Kevin Feige and the group over there, they, they kind of give set parameters and, you know, to their directors and their filmmakers and say, you have to fit this story that you have and make it about the MCU, the overarching sort of story, because basically what the MCU has become is, you know, a, a, a movie version of a TV show and which is fine. But the issue is, is some, these, sometimes these individual stories tend to suffer from that. They tend to, you know, because they, they get pulled down from that. I think case in point really is um, uh, most recently is not, a movie but it was uh, the tv show loki where it tends you know you had some great thing coming on but then you get to the finale and it's like okay well we gotta make sure it ties into everything else right and and i think that's what the mcu films struggle with so here james gunn having free range he he said it in many interviews warner brothers just said do whatever you want and after watching this film you can kind of tell he basically did whatever he wanted um with the characters and it was refreshing. It, you know, it was it was bonkers. It was crazy, it, but it was a lot of fun and it was different. You know, it reminded me a lot of like uh, Deadpool when that one came out uh, several years back. Um, you know, so this is something that I think we need more of in terms of comic book films. We need more of them to be like this with free reigns, you know, take you know, take the handcuffs off, take whatever off the, you know, the restraints off so that the filmmakers can be free to tell the stories that they want to tell without having to tell, uh, without having to tie them in to X, Y, and Z stories, you know, because I think the filmmaking and the storytelling tends to struggle from that a little bit, okay. but no, 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 that's I, my rant. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I, I agree with you. And let me just say this, um, two, two quick things. Well, not one thing is I, I'm going to say, I'm going to touch on what you said a little bit as far as, um, kind of the, the heart of this movie i feel like that's what kind of stood out like the, the x factor in this movie is there's heart in this movie in places where you don't expect it um yeah. you know like with, with you know the the, the par parental figures and the children and just the way they kind of did that i think they did an amazing job um yeah and and what you, i will say this what you said as far as marvel um I agree with you. They they have their they like you said cookie cutter, but their cookies though is is repetitive and it's kind of is cookie cutter as they are. They're making money and and bottom yeah. line is they got they're gonna make money if they're making money on something they're gonna keep doing it. So it's gonna be you yeah. know rinse and repeat. Let's put the same thing out. This is what I will say that 
as you were talking, it, you kind of made me realize this is, as I'm going to say, the movies, and we don't know because this movie, uh, su- the, the this Suicide Squad movie just came out um, yesterday. So, but it's getting uh, really good reviews. And I will say this, the movies that they did not, as far as the DCEU, e- DCEU is movies that they um, have been well received by people are the ones that they didn't try to make in fit into this box. Like, Oh, everything's yeah. got to tie in yeah. to this. And, and it's gotta exactly. be this like, like Joker. And I'm, I mean, I'm saying it right now just because, because everyone, I've not heard a bad review about this suicide squad movie, the joke Joker with, with um, Joaquin Phoenix and this suicide squad movie are, are, people are praising these movies. And like I said, Suicide Squad just came out yesterday, but I've yet to see someone yeah. say anything negative about it. But, you know, so and I, think I think that's... They... Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, 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 but I think that's the point, right? Is is right. that these films are a little bit more challenging, like what you're saying, The Joker, right? It, it, that's a very challenging film to yes. watch. It is a, is a hard R-rated film where you're watching this, basically this character study. It's basically a comic book version of, of uh, Taxi Driver. Right. And... You're watching a man's slow descent and spiral into madness, and it challenges the viewer to watch things that may make them uncomfortable, to ask questions about um, society issues and you know social norms and 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 what's socially acceptable and what is not, and 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 it's definitely a social commentary on those things, and films that have something to say, even comic book films can have something to say that will challenge. The viewer, and again, the the MCU. It's like they sometimes do it, but like it's not. It's not that challenging. I'm I'm sorry. I I mean, the last couple of films, I'm you know, I'm like, okay. Like I get, oh okay, I get what they're trying to say. They're trying to be a little political here, or a little bit there. I mean, case in point, um, Black Widow, which just came out a couple weeks ago, was not the best mcu film and it's actually probably one of the worst mcu films in my opinion and i mean it's okay but you know there there was nothing challenging about it nothing really worthwhile about it i don't think i'll i'll watch it again anytime soon so i mean again it was boring outright boring in terms of of how it challenges me as a viewer and and you know i mean because i mean it's, it's, it's like the cinematography isn't the most amazing thing. The score wasn't the most amazing thing. Even the action wasn't the most amazing thing. So what, what am I going to watch it for? Here with Suicide Squad and like what you said, the Joker, at least there's something going on. There's a story. There's something going on. They're, they're talking about something. Right. And it's different. That is challenging me as a viewer that, you know what, I, I found it very, very refreshing to watch these films. But yeah, that's just the way I feel about it. And those are some excellent thoughts. I think, I mean, honestly, I think it's your, I agree with completely, but um, you know, it's Disney. They're, they're going to market to who they're going to market. And I feel like, I feel like with, with DC, they've been failing and, and, you know, with, with their movies, they've been failing. And so I feel like when they bring in directors, they've they've learned that let's give them some for freedom because all the movies where we're we're micromanaging those have failed so exactly. let's just give and i think the their, their issue freedom. was is is like what you had referenced before the mcu films make money dc eu films weren't quite at that level they figured right. okay we need to do what they're doing so they just made the one film uh dawn before justice or whatever the the bvs yeah. um that atrocity of a film dawn of justice is, Dawn of Justice. <laughs> Dawn, what did I say? Dawn before Justice. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, it was pretty forgettable. Anyway, the thing is, is that it, it, um, they were like, we got to do that. So they made the one film and then they just tried to make the Justice League film, which was god awful. Um, well, the theatrical cut anyways. Um, yeah. um, the, the, you know, and then it was it was a mess. It was a big time mess. But I think they're they're learning from that by giving like they gave James Gunn who they saw his films, Guardians of the Galaxy, which are fun and they're they're you know very entertaining and they made lots of money. They said, let's give this director whatever he wants because remember, he got that job because he was recently fired from the third Guardians film. Right. And so they said, hey, 
we got a movie for you to make. And so they swiped him up real quick. And so he was like, sure, we'll let you do whatever you want. And he did it. And he made an excellent film. It was, it's really good. Definitely not for children, but (laughs) I, I recommend people going to get off the fence and watch that film because it is something different. It is something entertaining and it is in some ways challenging because it, it does get a little political. It does, um, you know, question even the viewer as, as what is, what is worthy of throwing somebody in prison for, you know, and those sorts of questions. And, and I think having a film like this is, you know, refreshing and great, but anyway, no, 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 I agree with you. I'm definitely going to say uh, get off the fence and check yeah. out uh, su- the Suicide Squad because uh, for all those things you just said, you know, it does challenge you. There, There is uh, uh, heart. There's comedy. There's, again, not a, cha- not a children's movie. This movie is very, <laughs> very, very violent, which it, it – that's why I will say this felt like a Suicide Squad movie. I have – I, I buy the, the, you know, the DC animated, you know, the, the kind of the graphic I mean, novel movies that are PG-13. And yeah. and this felt like, you know, those are violent movies. Yeah, I think a couple of them are yeah. even rated R. Um, this felt like a Suicide Squad movie. <laughs> yeah, and they let you know that right away from that first opening sequence. Yeah. Um, they let you know, this is an R-rated film, and this is the tone that you're going to get. And, I mean, I... <laughs> It was like, okay, this, this is a Suicide Squad film and don't get attached to any of the characters because <laughs> you never I mean, know. You never you, know. You never know. And and no one's safe. I mean, I'm not going to tell you who who eats it, but <laughs> there are people that eat it and you're going to be surprised. So I, I will I will tell you, though, that there is a I mean, if you want to say a post credit, it's not a post credit. It's like a before post credit scene. But then also a post credit scene. So like it is uh, a post post, not a mid credit. Yeah, it is yeah. a post post. So post stay till the yeah. very, very, very end. There's a before post credit scene. And then there's a very last post post credit scene. So yes, stay until all the way into the end to watch that. Yeah, definitely. Well, guys, we sort of veered off of our, our just a little bit. We, we, we brought it back. We brought it back. Commentary on the state of comic book films. But anyways, what are your thoughts on everything that we just talked about? Did you like the the um, Suicide Squad film? Did you like the first one better? How are you? How do you feel about the state of comic book films? Why don't you jump down into the comment section? Let us know what your thoughts and your feelings are on all of that, and we'll get that conversation rolling. Also, don't forget to click like, subscribe, and share with all of your friends, and uh, follow us on Instagram at On the Fence Movie Reviews. And remember, we will catch you on the fence.